Hello again. We've had a few rumbles of thunder in the Melbourne area and the day ended with a burst of showers. The morning was lovely. Light winds, lots of sunshine. We reached 23 in the city. Then the sky darkened, a wall of cloud coming in from the southwest. When that hit, it turned wet very quickly. Before it hit, the airport reached 25. Several suburbs were 24 today. But here's that band of showers and local thunderstorms moving across the Melbourne area. The band is most active as it crosses the south and east well, the northwest still did get hit, but longer dry breaks in between. All of this is breaking up now. We'll ease back to just the odd shower this evening. The morning had a band of cloud over northeastern Victoria, just light and patchy rain underneath. The main event is the next band coming in from the southwest. That is the one with the heavier showers, local storms, and colder air. There is a big difference in temperature ahead of and behind the change. There's not one, but three features moving through. The first trough was the weak cool change then the cold front we really feel with the shower storms and cold change and then that trough in behind it increases the cold and wet weather near the coast by later on tomorrow the next high pressure system should begin ridging up over us but the centre of that high is still well back over to our west. So the front and second trough bring this burst of wet weather and colder air. It doesn't impact the north very much in terms of precipitation anyway. Most of the wet weather is in the south and on the ranges. But the cold air does spread right across the state. I mentioned where the centre of that high is because as long as that is back to our west, we stay on its cool side. And that is the situation for the rest of the week. Mild in the north, remaining cool in the south. Around the nation tomorrow, Sydney has local storms during the morning, then turning to sunshine. Dry in Adelaide, pleasant in Perth, and it is hot in Brisbane. To Victoria, showers and wintry hail for the south and ranges, falling as snow up in the Alps, gradually clearing eastwards as the day progresses. Mostly dry north of the Divide, but it is mild there and cool in the south. Closer in, mostly cloudy for your Tuesday. Showers continue near the coast and outer east. The rest have very isolated activity. Dry for much of the time, the slight risk of showers. It is the first day of our new cool stretch, heading for 16 in the city. The slight risk of showers, so it's dry for much of the time. And the sunniest part of the day is the start of it. This cool stretch lasts for the rest of the week and just into the weekend too. 17 on Wednesday. We'll start with fairly cloudy conditions, turn a little bit sunny during the afternoon afternoon and repeat to finish the week still in a cool southerly. Saturday 18 afternoon sunshine. It breaks on Sunday here for Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. North easterly winds is turning warm and humid. Cup day, lots of sunshine, cloud bubbling up. There is the risk of a thunderstorm. But we are cool tomorrow, just a top of 16, mostly cloudy. There is the slight risk of showers out there tomorrow, Mitch. Okay, thank you very much, Jane.